Good day, folks. Thank you for joining us here at Your Health. On today's program, we'll discuss curcumin. Curcumin is the bright orange pigment taken from the spice turmeric. Folks, did you know in cultures that consume a lot of turmeric, their Alzheimer's rate is one-fourth of ours? Now, there are a lot of factors involved, but we know without a doubt the regular consumption of turmeric or the uh, pigment curcumin is playing a role in that phenomena. You can replicate that with regular supplementation of curcumin. Plus, it does so much more. It's really a fascinating program today. Stay tuned for that. First, let's go to our news. Let's see what's happening in the health world. One in four seniors with pneumonia is given an antibiotic that does not work. Researchers from the American Thoracic Society evaluated medical records of over 250,000 senior adults treated for pneumonia from 2011 to 15. They found nearly one in four seniors with community-acquired pneumonia was treated with an ineffective antibiotic. The study also found pneumonia treatment was failure was more common in seniors over 65 in those with diabetes, cancer, or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Related research from the Lawson Health Research Institute finds nearly one half of Ontario Canada seniors who visited their family doctor for colds or a non-bacterial upper respiratory infection were prescribed an unnecessary antibiotic. The study evaluated over 185,000 seniors who sought medical attention for an upper respiratory infection. The study also found 70% of those given antibiotics were given broad spectrum antibiotics, which are known to have more side effects such as tendon rupture or the development of C. difficile intestinal infection. Folks, we are doing our part in trying to help America to better understand what antibiotics truly do for us. So first, let's understand what they do not do. Antibiotics do not treat viral respiratory infections such as a cold. In fact, 70% of the infections of the respiratory tract are due to viruses, which antibiotics do not help. Nor do they treat non-infectious problems such as allergies. We all want treatments that fix our ills quickly, including me, but when we use antibiotics for colds or when we use the wrong antibiotic for bacterial pneumonia, as we learned from our first study, we develop needless complications such as severe diarrhea or allergic reactions and we promote bacterial antibiotic resistance, which compromises our future antibiotic successes. It is in everyone's interest to be better able to spot a cold and to better know when our infections are more likely to respond to an antibiotic. Colds come on more gradually. They tend to be accompanied by low temperatures, and the malaise or feelings of ill health of a cold come in waves. On the other hand, bacterial infections typically hit hard, cause fever, and have a specific point of infection such as inflamed tonsils or sinuses. If you think you have a cold and the doctor agrees, please do not pressure the doctor for an antibiotic. It is really in your best interest to not take an antibiotic in this setting. Now, all of this is conventional wisdom. What is not talked about is improving the immune response so that we resist both bacterial and viral infections, negating the need to see the doctor altogether. That is what this program is all about, helping you attain vital health. Taking probiotics may improve the symptoms of depression. Researchers from McMaster's University evaluated 44 adults with irritable bowel syndrome's response to a probiotic containing Bifidobacterium longum, or a placebo, over 10 weeks. They found those taking the probiotic were twice as likely to show improvement in depression scores. Well, these scientists from Ontario, Canada have been working on this project for the past 10 years and millions could now benefit from their hard work. Taking probiotics helps depression. This study used the probiotic species Bifidobacterium longum as their probiotic source. What they found was 14 of the 22 or 64% of those taking the probiotic showed improvement on depression scores versus only 7 of the 22 taking a placebo. This means if you have irritable bowel syndrome or IBS and it's accompanied by depression, you are twice as likely to get better if you take this type of probiotic. The reason why was not explained by this research, but it has been well established by previous research that the gut is very active in making neurotransmitters or chemicals that affect the brain and the intestinal flora when abnormal, such as occurs with IBS. These abnormal or dysbiotic organisms create chemicals that make us feel depressed. Correct the dysbiosis with probiotics and you make real progress with depression. 
Well, today on Your Health, we will discuss curcumin, the orange pigment taken from the spice turmeric. Stay tuned to learn more. For thousands of years, Eastern health practitioners have used mushrooms for a variety of treatments. And recently, scientists everywhere in the world have turned to mushrooms in search of health-promoting compounds. These are known as medicinal mushrooms. Among some of the most potent are ABM, Maitake, Rishi, Shiitake, and Cordyceps sinensis. And Bioinnovations, we've made available four of the most powerful mushrooms in one easy-to-use formula. We call it the Mushroom Complex. We also offer the amazing mushroom Cordyceps sinensis in a standalone formula. Cordyceps helps boost energy, an amazing discovery now used in both Eastern and Western medicine. So take advantage of thousands of years of health knowledge. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. I'm Dr. Richard Becker for Your Health at a Glance. High cholesterol raises your risk for cardiovascular disease, but it's just one risk factor among many. And the need to lower your cholesterol can be over-exaggerated. Everywhere in the media, we see advertisements for cholesterol-lowering prescription drugs. It's a big business. Now, cardiovascular disease kills more Americans than any other disease, so we need to pay attention to all the risk factors for heart disease. Here's a prevention strategy. Besides lowering your cholesterol, treat high blood pressure. Stop all tobacco, manage diabetes, exercise regularly to stay fit, avoid sugar, eat fish and fresh fruits and vegetables. Take your daily vitamin and use omega-3 oils. Address all your risk factors, not just your cholesterol. For your health at a glance, I'm Dr. Richard Becker. Is your life out of balance? It may be. The average American consumes far too many omega-6s and not enough omega-3s. This creates an imbalance. So what can we do to get back in balance? We can eat a healthy diet. And most of us need to supplement with omega-3 rich fish oil. Fish oil contains omega-3s with DHA and EPA, fatty acids that promote good brain and heart health. So reduce omega-6 in your nutritional plan and boost omega-3 to get back in balance. To help you do that, BioInnovations offers two products, the Fish Oil Complex and Omega-369, both formulated for your health and well-being. So how do you choose? For highest levels of DHA and EPA, choose the fish oil complex. For a balanced formula, choose the 369. Go online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. We're back, everyone. It is great to be with you today. We'll sit back and enjoy. Today's show is going to be very informative and interesting. We're going to be talking about curcumin, this amazing, amazing bioflavonoid that comes from turmeric, you know, that yellow color that they put in mustard. Who knew that was good for us? I sure didn't know that when I was a kid. Did you know that? Well, I know it now. We sure do. <laughs> yes, I do. Yes, turmeric is a member of the ginger family of plants and the, uh, the rhizome can be dried and ground into a fine powder and it's used to make a coloring agent for mustard and uh, they used to take, and they may still do it, margarine. The yellow color of margarine came from turmeric. It's used as a spice and a flavor enhancer and of course as a medicinal food. Curcumin is the active yellow pigment found in the spiced turmeric. So that bright orange color is from the molecule called curcumin. And there are other molecules similar to curcumin. We call them curcuminoids. And they have activity as well. And your better uh, curcumin products include the curcuminoids in the formulation. In India, where turmeric is a common food, colon cancer and Alzheimer's disease both, their rates are about one-fourth of the Western world. Now, there are multiple reasons for that, but there is no doubt that the high ingestion of turmeric reduces their rates of Alzheimer's disease and cancers of the intestinal tract. 
If we do a thorough review of the science on turmeric, curcumin in particular, we find it has anti-cancer, anti-tumor activities. It is a powerful antioxidant. It has anti-arthritis properties. It protects the liver. It is anti-amyloid amyloid plaques from the brain, it helps to prevent that. Anti-ischemia, lack of oxygen, it helps to prevent that. Anti-inflammatory, it is a powerful analgesic, analgesic, it relieves pain. It is a good antibiotic and antiviral and antifungal, antiseptic. It even is active against malaria. It is active against vascular disease. It inhibits platelets so they don't get sticky and plug up the vascular tree. It helps to modulate hormones, and it is a powerful detoxifier and chelator of heavy metals. All right, we're done. <laughs> That's a summary of what all it is known to do for us. But it is best known as a potent antioxidant that counters virtually all types of free radicals. That's our big overview for the day. Now, what's the science on curcumin? There is so much research today. I am truly challenged trying to keep up with all that we know. There are tens of thousands of studies now available and thousands of, of um, uh, double blind studies have emerged. And we had a, our last presentation of curcumin about eight months ago. Since that time, there's been over a thousand new publications on curcumin. How can anybody read all that and know what's all going on? So it is a challenge, but the gist of this, the benefits we're going to talk about today. First, let's talk about its powerful action as an antioxidant. You know, in chemistry, you have oxidation reduction reactions, and most of us yawned through that in high school, but some of us were was fascinated by that, and we went on to study it in college. I'm one of those, and I became a chemistry major. But curcumin does more than just acts as a chemical antioxidant. It does that, but it also upregulates proteins that control DNA-directed detoxification and antioxidant systems. So curcumin helps to augment your native systems. It makes them more effect effective and powerful and, and a, a better detoxification. It also works as a molecular antioxidant. And although curcumin is a fat-soluble substance, it is still effective as an antioxidant in water-based systems, our bodies which is quite remarkable. And if you have an interest in chemistry, if you study that molecule, the curcumin molecule, you'll see that it has ketoenal forms and it can participate in the Michaels uh, reaction, which is fascinating to a chemist. That helps to explain why curcumin can work in both fat and water-based systems. See, our brain is fat-based, and yet our vascular system is water-based. And so we have the two together. We want both systems to be served, and curcumin does that. Also, curcumin targets the thyroredoxin system. This is a fundamental protein-based redox-dependent system necessary for life. One study targeted the importance of this thyroredoxin system, and if it's knocked out, your uh, body only lasts a few seconds, and an embryo only makes it to eight cells. So it's critical for life. And curcumin turns on that system and makes it more effective. It also improves superoxide desmutase and glutathione while decreasing melanaldehyde. These are the metabolic byproducts that can really cause early aging and degenerative diseases. Those are the things that we fight in today's world. So curcumin does all this and it does it dramatically with no side effects. No medicine ever created has been capable of doing what curcumin can do. Now, that's basically how it works. So let's look at individual categories of health benefit from curcumin. First, cancer. Curcumin is a potent cancer fighter, and it affects multiple anti-cancer systems. Curcumin inhibits cancer growth by at least 20 different mechanisms. Can you believe that? 20 different mechanisms. Curcumin prevents cancer by promoting DNA repair, stimulating cell signaling, modulating cell cycles, and via epigenetics, the influence of turning on and off certain genes. Curcumin can influence that. Curcumin inhibits cancer development at all six stages of cancer growth. 
I want that to sink in. Curcumin inhibits cancer development at all six stages of cancer growth. This is transformation, initiation, promotion, invasion, angiogenesis, and metastasis. It inhibits angiogenesis by 14 different mechanisms alone. Apoptosis by 10 different mechanisms. Now, I'm throwing around some big words here. And I apologize for that, but there is great power in this. Anti-angiogenesis, what does that mean? For a tumor to grow, it has to have a blood vessel to it. For the tumor to get bigger, it has to have a bigger blood vessel. If we inhibit that blood vessel, we can shrink the tumors. We can inhibit the tumor's growth. And curcumin does that, and it does it by 14 different mechanisms. Now, they have medications that are capable of doing it, but it will do it by one or two mechanisms, and it does it very powerfully. This is why medicines have side effects, because that powerful inhibition interferes with normal cellular mechanisms. If we inhibit angiogenesis, for example, gently by 14 different mechanisms gently, overall we get a profound effect, but without the side effects. That is the beauty of how nature works. This is the beauty of how curcumin works. Multiple studies show curcumin improves the response to many traditional cancer drugs and it reduces the side effects of chemo and radiation. If you are fighting cancer, if you have a loved one who's fighting cancer, please include curcumin in your daily regimen. You will tolerate your chemo better, you tolerate your radiation better, and your outcomes will be better statistically. You know, we can't guarantee anything for anybody in medicine. No doctor will ever guarantee you anything. There, and the reason, why is that? Is, are we afraid to, to assure you of something? No, that's not it. There are too many variables at play to accurately predict for everyone outcomes. It's too complex. And if I mispredict your future, I've, you've lost all confidence in me. So be careful about asking doctors to predict things. It's difficult to do. We can give our best notion, but it is a challenge. But you will have better outcomes in general, statistically speaking, and large groups of people are tested with curcumin, they tolerate their chemo better, less radiation side effects, better outcomes in tumor management. The following cancers are known to respond to curcumin. Sarcomas, lymphomas of all types, many have been studied, I can't say all cancers, but many have been studied, including sarcomas, lymphomas, leukemias, neuroblastoma, tumors of the head and neck, tongue and oral cavity. These, these are some of the toughest, hardest to treat cancers known to humanity. Cancers of the esophagus, breast cancer, ovarian cancer, liver cancer, biliary tract cancers, cancer of the pancreas, tra uh, the colorectal, uh, intestinal tract, prostate, tremendous benefit for the prostate cancer patient, multiple myeloma, obesity-related uh, cancers, which are your intestinal tract cancers, and metastasis from solid tumors. If you go on the internet, you will see dramatic uh, cancer success stories when curcumin is added, and I urge you to do that if you're fighting cancer. That's our cancer section for curcumin. Please include it when we return from these important messages. We will talk about curcumin's brain benefits. We'll be right back. that nature holds the answer to your health needs? Are you looking for a supplement that's simple and pure, yet really works? If you're looking for nature's answer to better health, look to Aloha Noni Juice. It's pure and fresh, just like nature intended. Aloha Noni Juice is brought to you direct from the islands of Polynesia. Aloha Noni Juice is 100% pure with no added sugar or sweet fruit fillers. It's the perfect addition to your low sugar diet. Aloha Noni Juice drinkers will tell you their vitality, energy, and sense of well-being have improved, along with relief from many painful conditions. Made by nature, proven by science. Aloha Noni Juice contains only nature's best. And now you can enjoy the benefits of our new 100% certified organic Noni Juice. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. Dr. Richard Becker for your health at a glance. 
more and more people suffer from asthma, one cause is obvious. The world is a polluted place, and the air we breathe is not always healthy. But other causes of asthma aren't as obvious. Recent research connects a poor quality, high sugar diet and the frequent use of antibiotics to higher rates of asthma and cases of asthma that are tougher to treat. A fast food diet does not meet our nutritional needs. Plus, the indiscriminate use of antibiotics can seriously disturb the delicate balance of healthy microbes in our intestinal tract. So switch to a garden fresh diet that calms and prevents asthma. Eat fruit like veggies such as tomatoes, cucumbers and eggplant yogurt, ginger, turmeric, and take fish oil. Nature holds the answer, but it's up to us to make healthy choices. For your health at a glance, I'm Dr. Richard Becker. Have you heard about the health-promoting power of medicinal mushrooms? These remarkable mushrooms include mayatake, shiitake, reishi, and ABM. The medicinal mushrooms contain beta-glucans, compounds that promote healthy immune function while helping to coordinate multiple body systems. Innovations brings you Dr. Becker's Bionutrients Mushroom Complex with Mayatake, Shiitake, Rishi, and ABM in one convenient product. Our mushroom complex features the safest and most powerful medicinal mushrooms available, providing natural support for a variety of health conditions. Bio Innovations is the affordable source that you can trust for all your vitamin and supplement needs. So give us a call at 888-442-2128. That's 888-442-2128. Or order online at bioinnovations.net. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. We're back, everyone, talking about the amazing antioxidant curcumin. This one is just so powerful. I've got to tell you, this has got to be one of my all-time favorite supplements. It is just so amazing for so many people. So, Richard, now, that was really great on cancer. And yes. while we do have a lot of things to help the cancer patient, this one is one of the most Absolutely. potent and amazing. It's a must-have if you're fighting cancer. I think so. You know, as a complementary treatment. Mm -hmm. Well, now we turn it toward the brain. This is amazing, too, because curcumin is one of those very few elements that can cross the blood-brain barrier. That's what I love about it. Well, that's a very good point. It gets into those nooks and crannies where it needs to go up there in the brain, and it helps to protect us. Get this, the overview of curcumin and brain benefits. It protects and detoxifies the brain. You know, we're walking around in a toxic soup. I think we've made that point well on this program and we should all even if we feel we're in pretty good health take regular steps to detoxify us there are a lot of chemicals in our environment and curcumin does this it's one of our best chelators and brain detoxifier and it also calms inflammation of the brain by at least 18 different mechanisms it reduces the plaques the beta amyloid and tau particle plaques, this junk that accumulates in our brain, leads to Alzheimer's disease. It works with vitamin D to protect the brain and the nervous system. It improves the blood flow to the brain. It lowers oxidative stress to the brain and it chelates and detoxifies. And it promotes the energy flow through the mitochondria to the brain cells so they can work better. That's the overview. Let's look at some specifics. To help protect the brain from inflammation and toxin removal, free radical scavenger, inflammation is linked to our, is linked to our neurodegenerative diseases, Let's, uh, dementia, Alzheimer's disease. If you have an inflamed brain, you're much more likely to end with Alzheimer's disease. Inflammation of the brain is often due to the brain's immune cells, the microglia, attempting to fight off other issues, such as these plaques that we've talked about, viruses, or heavy metals such as mercury or lead, something like that. And curcumin is a powerful anti-inflammatory substance that gets into the brain, it's been thoroughly studied, and it helps to inhibit that inflammatory response. Even if it's something like iron, Many of you have iron overload. You have to be very careful about eating too much red meat or even taking a vitamin with iron in it. You have to be careful about that. Uh, 
curcumin should be in your daily regimen because it chelates that iron. It helps to protect the brain from that damage. Curcumin lowers inflammation in the nervous system, not just the brain, but throughout the peripheral nerves by 18 different mechanisms or more. That's where we're at now. Every time I study this, it was 12, then it's 15, now it's 18 now. At least 18 different mechanisms help to protect the brain. Curcumin supports the brain by reducing amyloid formation. If you take curcumin with vitamin D and assay the brain volume and the plaque load in an Alzheimer's patient and come back in a year later after giving them this, they have less plaque after a year. What? It actually improves the brain status in Alzheimer's disease. Now, that's not a cure, but it slows and delays. And for many of us, we have another problem that ends our life before the uh, dementia ever starts. It's not an issue for you. See, that's the benefit of this. Reduces amyloid formation by at least eight different mechanisms. Populations that consume a lot of curcumin or turmeric have one-fourth the rate of Alzheimer's disease, and they've done multiple studies on it. If we have a person with Alzheimer's and we give them curcumin, they perform better on their mini mental state exam assessments to see how the brain's working. They perform better. It helps them. Curcumin combined with vitamin D lessens the Alzheimer's plaques even better. One of the great formulations that we talk about on this program is curcumin. This is for the brain, brain health. Curcumin, magnesium, vitamin D, fish oil, and the B vitamins, including B12. Should I repeat that? Are you writing it down? This is priceless stuff. Curcumin, magnesium, vitamin D, fish oil, B vitamins, including B12. If you want a strong, healthy brain, do all you can with this. Get your exercise, eat healthy, worship, challenge the brain. These are all things. Socialize. Don't isolate yourself. It's not good for the brain. Do all these things. Stay active, and you can be independent as long as possible. Uh, next, curcumin improves the circulation to the brain, helps to protect the brain from stroke. And if a stroke occurs, the damage to the brain is less if you're taking curcumin on a regular basis. Isn't that amazing? You know, think of it this way. Let's say I occlude the internal carotid artery to my brain, very common mechanism for a stroke. And let's say that results in a stroke damage the size of a golf ball. Let's just say that. Studies have proven this. If you have good magnesium levels and you take curcumin before that stroke occurs, your stroke size goes from a golf ball to a grape. That's the difference in being able to drive balance your checkbook, uh, do your own shopping, or being an invalid, being disabled. That could be the difference for you. It's that effective. Now, the trick is be on the curcumin on a regular basis. If you have a bad event, then you have better protection. Pretty impressive, isn't it? And it does this by multiple mechanisms, so we really don't have time to go through it. Curcumin also supports the brain by lowering oxidative stress. Increases the brain's level of glutathione. Remember, it goes through the natural systems. It's not just a drug effect. It turns on your protective mechanisms. It uh, diminishes oxidative damage to the hippocampus from organophosphate pesticides. This is all brain protection, pollution. It binds up dangerous free radicals. We know that and we prove it. The aging brain also produces less energy. You know, this is something that is, I am personally am struggling with as I get older. It's that energy factor. You know, when we we're young, it seems so easy to get up and move and do all the things that we want to do and enjoy life. But as we get older, that energy is, well, it's precious, isn't it? And we see the kids playing and you just say, that is the most precious resource on the planet, the energy of youth. You know, and things we can do to improve our energy level is absolutely critical because that allows us to have the energy to get up and move, to exercise a little more, to socialize more, to interact with our friends, and to have the energy to heal, to fight off illness, and to maintain our, our good health and our optimism. Brain energy is critical and Curcumin improves brain energy by 158%, even after brain injury. 
158% improvement of brain energy. Isn't that a wonderful concept? I like it. So what if we combine that with CoQ10 and L-carnitine and a little D, you know, the Heart Smart plan, because it works throughout the body, it feeds the mitochondria everywhere. So curcumin is very much. Now, think of it this way. If we're depressed, the scientists have taught us and learned from their experiments, if we are in a state of depression, our brain energy is low. And it makes sense. You see a depressed person, their affect, it's just gone. They don't have the energy to spark to life. And so they've been able to prove that curcumin treats depression and it's through this energy pathway. And if you give someone who's taking an antidepressant curcumin with it, it makes the antidepressant more effective. Ways of protecting the brain with curcumin. Energy is one of them. We have more after these important messages. For centuries, the herb astragalus has been a staple of traditional Chinese medicine. It's used to create a strong shield, protecting the immune system. Astragalus is also used to support healthy heart and lung function. There's even more. Astragalus helps to calm total body inflammation, a common cause of pain and chronic illness. All of that without the use of medication. That's right. Support your health the way nature intended with astragalus root. BioInnovations brings you Dr. Becker's Bionutrients Astragalus Root Extract. BioInnovations is the affordable source that you can trust for all your vitamin and supplement needs. Give us a call at 888-442-2128 or order online at bioinnovations.net and see what Astragalus can do for your health. That number once again is 888-442-2128. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. Call today. I'm Cindy Becker, and this is Your Health at a Glance. Heavy metal poisoning is a growing concern, and it may play a role in your health. It can happen through occupational exposure or environmental pollution or both. If you work in a metal shop, a smelting plant, or any type of facility that uses electroplating or welding, you may be suffering from heavy metal exposure. But those of us who live in cities may suffer from heavy metal exposure through environmental pollution. It's the number one cause of heavy metal poisoning. It can occur over a long period of exposure or it can happen after a single dose. Symptoms can be overlooked because they're symptoms of common diseases such as fatigue, memory loss, tremor, joint pain, and indigestion. These are common symptoms of heavy metal poisoning. If your health is declining and you haven't been able to figure out the underlying cause, discuss heavy metal poisoning with your doctor. For your health at a glance, I'm Cindy Becker. CoQ10 and L-carnitine are among the most important nutrients our bodies use for energy production. Deficiency in these key nutrients can cause serious complications to your health. In fact, statin drugs that are used to lower cholesterol may deplete your CoQ10 levels. Bioinnovations brings you Dr. Becker's Bionutrients CoQ10 with L-carnitine. Now providing support for cardiovascular health is easier than ever before. CoQ10 and L-carnitine support a healthy heart naturally, as nature intended. And our formulation provides 300% greater absorption of CoQ10 than similar products, using a technology so effective it's patented. Bioinnovations is the affordable source that you can trust for all your vitamin and supplement needs. Give us a call at 888-442-2128. That's 888-442-2128. Or order online at bioinnovations.net. We're back, everyone, and i got to tell you, this is just amazing information we're learning today. And to help you get the curcumin, because this is one thing you're going to want to add to your supplement plan, we have an amazing buy one, get one free today. So you buy one bottle of the curcumin at the regular price, you're going to get a second bottle free. So don't miss this one. Richard, the curcumin is just amazing. We've learned yes. so much already. Now we see that there's heart and cardiovascular yes. benefit. Uh, curcumin improves cardiovascular disease risk factors. This is your cholesterol, your triglyceride, oxidative plaque formation, how your endothelia works. That's a, that's a measure of how your, your blood vessels respond to the demands of life. Uh, it improves heart failure status and de decreases reperfusion injury. 
curcumin exerts a profound anti-inflammatory effect on a enzyme system. It's called HMGB1. And what, what that is, it's, it's a protein excreted by our white blood cell macrophages, and it causes severe inflammation. And how this applies to cardiovascular disease is this HMGB1 initiates a vasculitis, inflammation of the vascular tree. And that can lead to an emboli that breaks loose. It can lead to vascular disease or what doctors call vasculitis, and it is an autoimmune phenomenon where the vascular tree is inflamed. If you have inflamed vascular tree, please get on curcumin and vitamin D and fish oil. Fish oil, vitamin D, curcumin for vasculitis. Now your medicines apply there, your doctor will help you with that, but you can do these things safely at home without interfering with the medicines. It will make them more effective. Now, this is uh, curcumin is so helpful in vascular disease problems in Thailand, they did a study. Thailand, they gave the patients who are going in for a coronary artery bypass graft, cabbage. It's the bypass, the heart bypass. They're doing this. They gave them four grams a day for a week prior. And if they did this, four grams of curcumin, it led to a 65% lower risk of heart attack during the procedure and after the uh, bypass. 65% lower rate of heart attack afterwards. So... <clears throat> It helps. It helps the vascular tree. And the, uh, at Peking University, they did a study to understand why that helped. And they discovered that curcumin uses a never before described mechanism to protect from endothelial dysfunction. That, you know, when you want your artery to open and breathe perfuse, your endothelial controls that. When you want it to constrict and lower blood flow, your endothelium does it. As the endothelium is the inner lining very innermost lining of the artery. It's the brain center of the artery. And if it's not working right, you have a real problem. Curcumin helps to correct that process, and I find that amazing. What about diabetes and curcumin and liver conditions? Curcumin improves the measures of glucose control, and it limits the oxidative damage of diabetes. Multiple studies shows curcumin protects the liver by reducing liver fibrosis. You know, as we accumulate fat in our liver, it displaces normal liver cells. It initiates an inflammatory process that ends in scarring. No different than if you cut your hand and you have a big scar. The liver will do the same thing, and it comes from weight gain. It can also come from having hepatitis C or drinking too much alcohol, but, but a fatty liver is by far and away the most common reason to initiate fibrosis in America today. And curcumin completely prevents that. Maybe your doctor has told you, you know, maybe you've got some fat in the liver, Mrs. Jones, so we better reverse that or you're going to have trouble eventually. Curcumin would be part of that process to help relieve the stress on the liver. How about the lungs? Curcumin in the lungs. It counters the long-term complications of asthma. When we have asthma over time, the bronchial tubes get thick and tough and sclerotic and it clamps down, making the air tube smaller and smaller and smaller. This takes time for this to happen. It doesn't happen overnight. But they did a study, and they found, they did this in Turkey. You know, many countries in the world have been using turmeric and curcumin for centuries. It's old hat to them. Oh, we've been using that for years. What are you talking about? We already know that stuff. It's new to us, but not to them. So they did a, a study in, in Turkey, and they found that curcumin actually reversed that constricting of the air tubes in asthma. It reversed it. That, do you know anybody with severe chronic asthma? It incapacitates people, and our death rates from asthma are on the increase. Don't discount this. If you know somebody with severe asthma, please get them on curcumin. You know what else would help them? Vitamin D, a little Boswellia, fish oil, probiotics, but definitely get that curcumin in there for the chronic asthmatic. You're going to see improvement. How about pain and inflammation? Let's talk about that. Powerful anal analgesic. Who would think that this beautiful orange pigment, curcumin, would relieve your pain? Who would think that? I wouldn't, but it does. It is a powerful analgesic, and it's a significant reduction in pain dose-related. That means if you don't hurt too bad, one gel cap would, or soft gel would be enough. If you're really having a bad day and your arthritis hurts and you have a headache, take four or five. 
Take a sip of noni juice with it. You're going to get some pain relief. Curcumin has anti-inflammatory effects equal to steroids, equal to non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs like ibuprofen, but with no side effects. What do the doctors of America do? Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs are the number one drugs worldwide. We have an opium narcotic-based epidemic in America. Why? Why do so many people take narcotics in America? Do you think they want to get high? Is that it? No, they're hurting. They're in insufferable pain and they want relief. The problem with the narcotic is it's dependency forming. You get started on it, you're always going to have pain. You need it. That's the problem. That's why we have so many people. Let's relieve the pain with vitamin D, noni, curcumin, fish oil, the natural things. This is what we need to do to help manage our pain. And it works better than the non in rheumatoid arthritis. It does it by a unique mechanism, multiple mechanisms without side effects. Two grams of curcumin equals 800 milligrams of ibuprofen. Now you know. Now you have another tool to help your pain. We have a break. We'll be back. risk of disease? The answer is yes. One way is by including fruit in your diet. Fruit contains valuable nutrients that can reduce the risk of heart disease, stroke, and even some cancers. We've searched the world and found four fruits we believe are among the best. Noni from Polynesia, acai from the Amazon, and two new ones, goji and mangosteen. These four juices each have amazing properties that make them great additions to your nutritional plan. If you're a diabetic or have chronic pain, these juices will help you feel better and have more energy. Plus, they help with digestion. Now you can experience the health-promoting benefits of all four in one convenient package we call the Fruits of the World 4-Pack. And remember, it's 50% off by the case. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. That number's 888-442-2128. is our hope for you today. I'm Cindy Becker. When we struggle with disease and painful health conditions, we can become overwhelmed with negative thoughts. We may even develop depression. The Apostle Paul offered guidelines to help us preserve a positive attitude during times of trouble. He wrote in Philippians 4 verse 8, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Thinking positive thoughts is the first step toward overcoming worry, even depression. Proverbs 17 verse 22 reminds us, a cheerful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. Remember these words of wisdom as you face your health challenges. I'm Cindy Becker. This is our hope for you today. Vitamin D deficiency is at epidemic levels in the United States. Chances are you aren't getting enough of this essential nutrient. Vitamin D is one of the most important molecules in the human body. It's required for the proper function of nearly 4,000 genes and 1,000 metabolic chemical reactions. BioInnovations brings you Dr. Becker's Bionutrients Vitamin D3. Now supplementing with vitamin D is safe and affordable. Studies show that vitamin D deficiency can lead to poor immune function, depression, cardiovascular disease, bone disease, diabetes, cancer, and much more. Starting supplementing vitamin D today for better health tomorrow. BioInnovations is the affordable source that you can trust for all your vitamin and supplement needs. So give us a call at 888-442-2128. That's 888-442-2128. Or order online at bioinnovations.net. We're back, everyone, learning all there is to know, almost, about curcumin and your health. Isn't this just amazing? And to help you get this curcumin in your diet, we have a great special on our Bionutrients Curcumin. Buy one bottle at the regular price and you get a second bottle free. That's today only, so don't miss that one. Richard, curcumin is just amazing. It, it really is. And you were mentioning what you have available for our viewers. and. 
You know, there's curcumin and then there's expertly prepared curcumin. Think of it this way. We always say that whole food is the better way to eat. Right. If you're going to have wheat, have the whole kernel. Right. Have the whole thing. Well, if you're going to take turmeric or, or, or curcumin, you want to include the whole organism. And so what we have done is we take the uh, turmeric rhizome, the part that we consume, and not only do we get that curcumin and curcumoid extract, but the essential oil of the rhizome is included. The essential, you know how popular the essential oils are today. Well, we include that. And what that does for you, it gives you a broader base of benefit, plus it increases the absorption of curcumin by over 800%. 800% increased absorption. That's been proven with studies. So there's, it's more to it. And I, I want to caution you about one thing. I, I, I make a point of never disparaging other people's products on this program. But I will see, and you'll see this too, uh, dietary supplements with a deck or the ingredient list of 25, 30 different things. And they'll list curcumin. And they say, well, I, we have curcumin in that product. You don't need any other source of curcumin. Well, there is two milligrams of curcumin per serving of that. That's nowhere near enough to have the benefit. So I just want to caution you about taking products with a lot of ingredients. What if you react to something? You don't know what you're reacting to. And you're not taking enough of all those ingredients to really give you a scientifically proven benefit. That's not the best way to manage this. Does that make sense? I see this all the time. This is marketing. It's not designed by people who truly have your health and well-being in mind. Enough said about that. Kidneys and curcumin. In kidney disease, chronic kidney disease, there is extreme oxidative stress. The blood flow is not good. Mechanisms aren't working right. And this is an organ of detoxification. And the toxicity accumulates with kidney disease. If you have it, you know what I'm talking about. Curcumin is one of the best natural agents to relieve the oxidative stress in chronic kidney disease. And if you want to know more about that, Dr. Rich Schneider has written some very good books on chronic kidney disease and dialysis. And I recommend you read those and take the steps he recommends to help you with your condition. Because there's precious little out there in the general public that people talk about. Really, it's a tough go for you, but Dr. Schneider has really gone out of his way to give you, and he's a nephrologist. He knows what he's talking about. You can trust him. So get those books and read them. Intestinal tract. Curcumin supports the intestinal tract by creating a strong barrier to yeast, bacteria, and viruses, while it helps damaged tissues to heal. And multiple studies have shown if we take curcumin, you'll have less ulcerative colitis, less Crohn's disease, your irritable bowel will get better, and it is a beautiful natural antibiotic that helps calm yeast, bacteria, viruses, and parasites. It does so much. It's helpful for IBS, food allergies, and sensitivities. It stimulates the repair of stomach ulcers induced by non steroidal anti You know, if you take an Advil, ibuprofen, aspirin, naproxen, something like that, oh, my stomach, oh, it makes me hurt. Take your uh, curcumin. It'll start getting better soon. Now. Some people would want to keep taking the Advil in light of their stomach hurting. Be careful. You're going to give yourself a stomach ulcer. You'd be careful with that. But if you have stomach irritation, curcumin can be very helpful for that. Some other curcumin research, 14 different sta strains of candida, the yeast syndrome. I would suspect every other viewer watching right now has a problem with yeast. At least that, maybe more. Curcumin is one of our absolute best, along with oil of oregano and olive leaf extract, wonderful anti-yeast agent. But it also is helpful against Staph aureus. It helps to negate the biofilm. You know, if we have a hip transplant, or not a hip transplant, a hip prosthetic, a new hip put in, and it gets infected, what happens, these bacteria, they lay down a biofilm. It's almost like a sheet of plastic that gets wrapped around the new hip the prosthetic hip. And what that plastic does, so-called plastic biofilm, it protects the germs, the infecting germs from antibiotics. And they go on living their life like you're not taking any antibiotic. That's why it's so hard to treat an infected prosthetic device. Curcumin negates that biofilm. So maybe you've had a, uh, a new knee put in and you developed an infection and they're telling you, well, we're gonna either have to take it out because you've been on antibiotics for three months and you're not getting better. 
What a debacle, what a mess. Please, a month of curcumin and probiotics and oil of oregano before you do that. This is the natural treatments at its best, so keep that in mind. Regression of endometriosis, one of the most remarkable effects of, of curcumin is combining vitamin D with curcumin for endometriosis. Three cycles, three months. You're going to see a change in this girl like you've never seen. You did not think possible. We have a couple new ones that have just come in. Uh, Avencia G uh, Journal of Phytomedicine. In diabetes, curcumin lowers hemoglobin A1C. So this is your long-term blood glucose control. This is a new study, larger study that confirms past studies. And this is important. We need to confirm these things. We need to know for sure. So diabetics, when you take your curcumin over time, it helps to get your long-term glucose, hemoglobin A1C, under better control. Also a new one from the Annals of Allergy and Asthma and Immunology, curcumin improves the nasal airflow in seasonal allergies. They were also able to prove that curcumin modulates the immune response in allergies, calming it down so we don't, and that's the way to manage allergies, not just an antihistamine, not just with a steroid, but you want to calm the immune reaction so you don't have to take as much of those medicines, and curcumin helps to do that. Some new information there. All right, we have a break. We'll be back for our wrap-up and tell you how to take curcumin when we return. Are you one of the 62 million Americans suffering from gastrointestinal problems? Do you struggle with other chronic conditions? That's why we offer Dr. Becker's Bionutrient Probiotics. After years of research, we developed a revolutionary probiotic formula with gastro defense technology. This system protects the good bacteria from stomach acid so the probiotics reach the intestines where they go to work. Additionally, we use live count technology to prolong the shelf life of the probiotics, so there's no need for refrigeration. Dr. Becker's Bionutrient Probiotics is a powerful combination and one of the most effective formulas available today. And we offer a children's chewable formula too, both at prices you can afford. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. That number is 888-442-2128. Dr. Becker and this is your health at a glance. Are you one of the millions of Americans who are at risk for heart problems? If your diet is like the average Americans, you're getting far more sodium than your body needs and this may create serious problems for your heart. A new study from the Netherlands showed that a diet high in salt not only increases blood pressure to dangerous levels, it also causes damage to your blood vessels. To avoid these problems, you need to avoid foods that are high in salt, such as preserved and prepared foods like frozen dinners, canned soups and other canned foods, cured meats such as lunch meat, hot dogs, bacon and sausage, condiments and sauces such as soy sauce, teriyaki sauce and spaghetti sauce, and snack foods such as salted nuts, pretzels and chips. Eat fresh fruits and vegetables, fresh meats, poultry, fish and other salt-free alternatives. As you decrease your intake of salt, your desire for salty foods will eventually be reduced. For your health at a glance, I'm Dr. Becker. Every day, about 200 million Americans do not get enough of a key essential mineral. That mineral is magnesium. The typical American diet does not supply enough. And magnesium is so important. It protects bones and helps more than 300 different enzymes in the human body perform efficiently. That's why BioNovations offers chelated magnesium capsules for oral use and topical magnesium gel to be applied to the skin. That's two forms of magnesium to meet your daily needs. Scientific evidence points to chelation as the best method of vitamin and mineral formulation. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Because chances are you are one of the 200 million Americans who need more magnesium every day. Again, that number is 888-442-2128. Call today. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. Your health is brought to you by BioInnovations, trusted products for your health and well-being. 
We're back, everyone. Just a quick reminder about that special today with the Dr. Becker's Bionutrients Curcumin. It's buy one, get one free. Don't miss it. So, Richard, I know time is short here, but you have a yes. few more studies to share with everyone. Well, you know, there's just so much with curcumin, and someone may have been listening, waiting for their condition. So I try to get in as much as possible. I'm sorry if it, it sounds hurried. Curcumin improves PMS scores. If you include oral curcumin with light therapy on psoriasis, it's a remarkable improvement. Add vitamin D to that. Of course, light therapy helps with the vitamin D, but curcumin helps psoriasis. Uh, it is dose-dependent pain relief. A review of eight studies proved that. It protects the, uh, the brain. No, is showing no mental decline in 98 seniors, double-blind study. If they took the curcumin, they didn't have any mental decline over the, the course of the study which is quite remarkable. Also reduces post-op pain, improves bile flow. Did you have your gallbladder out because of gallbladder stones, you know, issues and whatnot? Now you have bile flow all the time and you get, oh boy, you get indigestion. Curcumin helps the bile flow, helps to regulate bile flow in people who've had their gallbladder removed. This is a fairly common problem. You, the problem that sent you in to have your gallbladder removed, you still have those symptoms. That's you. Try curcumin and some probiotics, noni. These things make a huge difference for this. What else? Better anti-inflammatory and antioxidant than statin drugs can be used to pre the prevention of heart disease. When combined with isoflavones like clover, isoflavones reduces PSA levels while suppressing prostate cancer growth. Perhaps you've been diagnosed with prostate cancer and it's a slow growing one and they want to watch it for a while. Curcumin. Isoflavones, vitamin D, makes a difference. Improves lichen planus. Don't have time to explain, but if you have it, you know how tough it is. Uh, dramatically reduces the conversion of metabolic syndrome to full-blown type 2 diabetes, curcumin. You know, if you would never read any of this and never watched our program, I think you'd sit there and say, no way. No way one thing does all that, wouldn't you? I think there would be a lot of doubt, but folks, I'm not creative enough to make all this up. <laughs> this is right from the literature. You can go to the World Wide Web and confirm it. So it's really quite remarkable. Stalls the progression of multiple myeloma. Stalls the progression. That's impressive. Reduces radiation burns and breast cancer radiotherapy. Impressive. Improves the response to Prozac. These are all double-blind studies. Improves anxiety and obesity and on and on. Well, how much of this do we need to take? I would take two soft gels of the curcumin product a day. I would also, whenever I'm going to saute a vegetable, put a little olive oil in the pan, sprinkle a little turmeric in there, saute your broccoli or however you wanna do that. If you add it to oils and heat it, we absorb turmeric better. So you can increase it that way, but be careful, that stains. Taking the gel cap, the soft gel, it's easy, nothing stains. This yellow pigment is used as a dye, don't forget that. And you can do it very cheaply on your own, but you have to deal with that. So just a reminder of it, include your um, curries and turmeric in your daily diet as well as supplementing. Well, there's a lot to know about curcumin, but we covered it today. Thank you for your kind attention. We'll see you, folks. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Hippocrates once said, let food be thy medicine and medicine thy food. So why do nine out of 10 of us not eat enough vegetables daily? It's because we don't always know how to incorporate this practice into our busy lives. Instead of removing bad foods, start by adding healthier foods you prefer. You'll soon discover better foods you love will crowd out unhealthy cravings. It's not crazy, just healthy. You know the world it's changing. You watch it on television every day. It's unbelievable. It's unthinkable. Today on Love a Child, we are helping people. No matter what is going on all around the world and all the bad reports you hear, there's good reports happening here. God raised you up to be a partner for the children here who cannot speak for themselves.